Hello, folks, and welcome back to Cockpit. This is run number 24. Still getting used to it. What other ship management should you have played? So, of course, there's the 33 Death War, Endless Sky, Escape Velocity. Um, I tried X4 and X3 because I heard they were both good, but I just couldn't get into it. The 3 nature of it, I think, just blows my mind a little bit. It has to be top-down 2D in order to really work for me, otherwise it doesn't really scratch that same itch. It's still shuttling back and forth and getting the um, getting the trade routes and the blasting, but for some reason, for some reason it has to be 2D. If it's not 2D, I don't understand it, and I, and I can't handle it. Um, but I mean, it's the same. It's the same gameplay loop. I just don't know what my brain's problem is. Let's go ahead and grab... Let's go wheels. I was going to grab feet, but I think we'll go wheels. Those three games of that type are space flight simulators. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I think there's definitely some argument that X4 is trying to be both at the same time. It's trying to be both uh, space flight as well as... Uh, trade management, like it's basically like single player Eve a little bit. Ooh, Rebel Galaxy, there's another good one. The problem I had with Rebel Galaxy, and the reason why I didn't stream it, is, um, I mean, it's kind of a 2D game. I mean, it's, <laughs> there's no verticality at all, which just struck me as a weird decision when you're doing, um, 3D models is not having any 3D movement. It just, it blows my mind. Now, people love the gameplay anyway, so maybe I just need to get over it. But, yeah, it just, it's very, it's a very strange decision. I'm going to trade out my small laser here for a particle cannon, or particle gun. I think, uh, we'll keep one small laser just in reserve. Actually, no, grab a particle gun instead and keep that in reserve. There we go, that's better. Protostar, Protostar. I played Protostar. I could have sworn I played Protostar. I don't remember it too clearly, though. I'll have to look and see if I took notes or anything. I don't remember if I've actually, like, finished it or off. Or, or, or I played it, like, for a decent amount of time. I think here we want level access points so we can do it. Hey, nice. Alright, give me some branch access points, maybe? Okay, we didn't get that one. We got the level access points. That's great. Oh, there's one right nearby. Let's go to materials. You can make 2D platformers with 3D models. Why can't you make 2D ship shooters with 3D graphics? That's a fair point. That's... Yeah, so... Okay. I mean, yes. I agree with you. That is a fair point. The, um... The other thing I would say, though, is that the 3D graphics were kind of... It, it's just in a 3D space, right? Like, so my problem was that I was coming over from a... Ah, uh, that's bad. I was coming over from another space shooter type game called... Um, what was it called? I'm trying to remember now. Shoot. But it, had, it was six degrees of freedom shooter is the problem. Right? It was like Descent, but it wasn't Descent. I totally forget the name of it right now. And the problem mainly is that I'm coming from that game and going to Rebel Galaxy, and it's such a huge disconnect that it kind of just stopped me. Like, I can't couldn't get into it because it was so radically different. And that was my mistake. Like, going from, that, from a six degree shooter game to Rebel Galaxy is too big of a shift. I just... I. My brain just couldn't handle it. So if I had done from, say, a 2D shooter, if I had done, like... I'm trying to think of a 2D shooter right now. I usually don't play 2D shooters all that much. Um, yeah, if I had gone from a 2D shooter to Rebel Galaxy, I think it would have been fine. But yeah, I just made the wrong adjustment there. I think we just run to the exit. I think we're good here. We got hit a little bit, but we're good. We made it. That wasn't too bad. Give me some power, give me some propulsion, please. Uh, 
And arguably, a lot of the 3D models you do for 2D platformers aren't really true 3D. Like, you can do 3D models, but it takes a lot of processing power to render the whole 3D. So you'll notice a lot of developers doing a lot of, like, funky tricks. Like, um, Metroid Dread's a good example. Metroid Dread looks like it's 3D, like it's a 3D model, but it isn't really. Insisting on the player directly controlling one ship and constrain the spatial dimensions of the game world also constrains the scope of the game. Look at Star Citizen versus Star Sector. The most space teams about being able to do anything. The one with the massive budget, the massive team, the variant. Well, so there's an argument there that Star Citizen was never meant to be like a full, like, like is never going to be a full, like is never going to be actually done. And by design, arguably. Now, initially, I don't think that was the case. I think initially they definitely meant to release what they did. But once they realized that whales were a thing, they're like, well, you know, like, why even bother finishing the game? So I think scruples definitely come into it there. But scope also, I agree. Scope is also a thing. But, like, if you could do, like, No Man's Sky or what's another good one? Um, well, Starfield is a good space management game, I think. X4, any of the X games, I think, are decent examples of space management. All those are possible. The only thing Star Citizen adds is seamless movement, which No Man's Sky kind of does already. It's like all the things they're mentioning in their, uh, in their scope are doable. They just haven't actually done them. This is where we're boned. The C-30R is about to open up and launch a bunch of bad guys at us, and that's a problem. Ah, we've got nowhere else to go. We have to go this way. This is the only way the exit could be. I need to get past this guy. Okay, so we need to duck around a corner. Yep, sure enough, he opened up. Okay, let's see if we can juke around these guys. We have the sensor. We know where they're going to be. So now we loop around... As long as I can get past the green guys here. Yeah, we looked, we looked, we did it. Okay, now we need to leave. Star City uses 2D sprites for the ships on a 2D plane to get a massive detailed work to explore. And that's fine. I think I think Star Sector does a great job. Um, I can't really get into Star Sector myself because I think I'm not I'm not in the right mindset for a full like endless space game again. Once I get there, once, once I get back into, like, wanting that type of thing, I think that'll be great. There's our exit. Great. Ooh, and a storage unit, too. Okay, let me grab a storage unit. And then go. But, I mean, I, I've been watching people play Star Sector, and it's fantastic every time. Like, it's great. Now, one thing I don't see, though, is a lot of people playing Rebel Galaxy. Why there's so many people playing Star Sector and not Rebel Galaxy? It's basically the same gameplay loop, but for some reason, Star Sector is more engaging. I heard about some play people playing Star Citizen. They were blowing up their own park ships for entertainment because they were so little too. <laughs> well, and that's an issue with the game still in development, right? Is that you have that problem of, well, shit, man, there's nothing to do. Like, um, and Star Citizen is in a weird spot too. I want to have to get a large storage unit. Um, where, I don't know, their scope's a little bit weird. Security status, how are we doing? Ooh, okay, never mind, I'm not gonna find out. I'm not gonna find out. Or like their, their scope, they need, they need a freaking actual, like, game designer. Because I think the problem is they've got no leadership that knows what they want and are willing to go for it. They have this whole list, laundry list of, like, wishes, but they have no idea of how to get there. Okay, I'm just trying to run past these guys, and I don't know if this is working. There's too many bad guys following us. Let's go east. And admittedly, I haven't followed too much of Star Citizen once I realized they were never going to release. Oh, we're in a bad way. Yeah, this is where we die. Um, yeah, this is too bad. Looked inside the door, see if we can maybe adjust. Am I, am 
mine engine up, and then I guess I open fire on you. Yeah, I've got too many bad guys here. We're in a bad way, we're about to die. This is my doom song, and we're gonna die. And my little threat rifle is disabled, but I can have my particle gun. I can open fire at you. There you go. Now, okay, broken wheel, that's very bad. I have no movement. And we're going to die. We're burnt, are we burnt? No, they're burning. They're burning. Well, my heat's also pretty critical. I might be burning as well. The particle gun might be taking up too much heat. Unfortunately, all we've got are particle guns all around us. What is this? Oh, good! A fusion explosion. That's what I need today. Uh, well, my heat generation is pretty high, but I'm going to go and hit you anyway. Yeah, I've got danger here. I'm going to get corrupted by the heat. I can't escape here. I could try running into you, but that's probably bad. I'm trying to push my way through. I got a leg, and I got high energy out of that. I'm gonna run. Nope, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Let me go ahead and just do another run. So that would be run number... 25. Just restart. Rebel Galaxy has a linear story with linear map projection. Oh, well, the tr same is true for 3030 Death War, but for some reason I can get more into 3030 Death War than Rebel Galaxy. Now, is that a fault in my brain? Maybe. Maybe. Um, there's possibly, like, just, uh, for some reason, a mental block for doing that. So it's like a really deep builds using map types and hull mods and keeps all the holds relevant by focusing on fleet composition. Well, and putting together a fleet is, like, a really cool idea that I think... Um, I don't know if Rebel Galaxy could really do, like, maybe? Being a, to put together a fleet is another thing you can do in, well, a little bit in 33 Death War. Not, like, an entire fleet, but, like, another ally ship, at least. Um, you can do that in Escape Velocity. You can do that in Endless Space. Right, there's a, there's usually some with it. It's so funny. How many times have we gotten to the first floor and the exit's right there? That's hilarious. I'm just going to take it. Um, whereas in Rebel Galaxy, as far as I know, you just have the one ship. So they're focusing on the one ship experience, but then also keeping it 2D, and that's, that's kind of weird. Oh, crap. We might get destroyed by some infestations here. Uh, here's hoping the C-30R takes care of it for me. Tracking a group of assembled to figure out where they're coming from. They're closing this area. Yeah, no shit. They're right below me. Oh, crap. Well, there's the derelicts there. Or the infestation right in front of me. And the demolition squad right below me. So, I'm going to let these guys fight it out. If I can. I'm going to try to run. This is a problem. Though. Yeah, the infestation is going to kill me. That's too bad. Rolling Oxy is as fun as a shooter, but it's not the replay, replay value of Star Sector. I can see that. Especially with the linear story. It makes it definitely harder to uh, do your own thing, really. And with linear progression, the problem. It's like, um, it's like starting over in an RPG. You know, you always have to do that same introductory section all over again. You have to really be committed to the idea of your character, of your new character, before you can actually do that. Wow, that was a really short run. <laughs> that didn't even last three minutes. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, man. That was absolutely awful. All right. Run number 26. Maybe uh, if we die too early here, maybe I need to stop. 
Sometimes you just need to realize that the game is not enjoying you and you need to stop. I might be enjoying the game, but the game might be saying, you know, kind of taking advantage. I'm not sure about two medium lasers, but whatever. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to go up get my engine. My spare engine, rather. My, oh, yeah, assault rifle is probably better. A nice little balance. Oops. Sorry, dude. You were kind of in my way, though, so that's kind of on you. Now, I've really been aching for a good space management or ship management game in space. Starfield kind of sort of scratches that itch, but not really. I don't know what I'm looking for is my problem. I know there's something I want that's like that. Star Sector might be it, but it feels a little bit too much, kind of. Endless Space kind of works that way, but again, it feels like not quite it for some reason. I don't know what I'm looking for. Something in space, I just don't know what it is. Uh, it's way too early to bring color investigation to reinforcements, so none of that's useful right now. We could try patrol status to see. Three out of patrols, all right. In the sky? Yeah, in the sky. That's sorry. Right. I just keep on saying in the space. I meant in the sky. Yeah, in the space is the forex name. Yes, totally different. <laughs> Not at all what I'm looking for. Yeah, in the sky is the. Oh, I'm Pretty bad. Oh, and we got troopers on the way. Go ahead and grab a. Oh, those are just small lasers? This is gonna be horrible. Yeah, they're gonna be able to tear me apart here, unfortunately. Oh, we are gonna have a bad time. You are in my way, Mr. Scrapper, sir, so I want you down here, the mercenary. Put our medium laser in effect. I've got no power, so put that in. And shoot you. Then grab the leg. So at least we can hop around. Now, one thing I haven't played in a long time is a 4X game. the last 4X game I played? That would be... Maybe Galactic Civilization 2, I think? That would be a long time ago, though. It's been a long time since I've played any kind of 4X game. That'd actually be cool to do. I haven't done that in a long time. What do I play? I think I have some 4X games on the list of games to play. Off to look. Off to look. There's probably some really good ones out now. Yeah, the usually the problem with 4X games is management. I guess. No, I played some Civ 6 a little bit, but not not too much. Give me some traps. Okay, uh, give me a zone layout. Okay, nothing. And this guy's way more focused on trade route type stuff than most ship management. Um, yeah, and that kind of ties in with the original influence of Endless, uh, Endless Sky, which is Escape Velocity. Escape Velocity was totally all about um, trade routes. It was a good 90% trade route. So there was a story about uh, aliens for the first time, like first contact happening in like the 24th century. Like no one had ever seen aliens before and suddenly aliens show up. And so there's this little side story that you can do, but you don't have to. But 90% of it is all about what's the most efficient trade route. Like there's a little bit of combat, Sometimes you need to deal with pirates, but for the most part, it's all about the trade. So it's very true to its roots, um, but I, I can see that if it's not what you're looking for, then it's totally not going to be, you know, what you want to be playing, which is fair. Uh, EM shotgun, hover unit. I mean, I'm hopping around one leg now. I'm kind of tempted to go grab the hover unit, but we need more, more weight distribution. This time I can shut something off. Uh, recall reinforcements, maybe? Ooh, no, they're totally gonna catch me out here. Star Sector has a really deep economic situation, just has a mercantilist economy that makes easy exploitation of trade routes impractical. We're seeing to cultivate trade contacts or take advantage of brief trade opportunities. Yeah, so the idea behind Star Sector, right, is that there's a shit ton of ships. 
right? Like, everybody and their cousin can fly a starship. So, like, if you want to take advantage of trade routes, well, somebody's already done that. Like, you're in a, you're in a well-established civilization. So, like, you can't do that because someone else has already been there ahead of you. Whereas in the sky is more frontier. Like, not everyone can have a starship. So, like, if you want to take advantage of the trade routes, like, go ahead. It's a lot more sandbox. Oh, we are getting surrounded here. We need to leave. Wow, this is really bad. What the hell? Dude, oh, you know what? It's that dang administrator. Turned on the, uh, the alert level. Shoot, I don't know if we can get past this. We seem to be able to leave. If we can, we might be in trouble. I have no power generation. Okay, no, the mercenaries are we're doomed. We're doomed. We're actually Wow, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six bad guys following us. That's just the ones we can see. Oh man. Okay, well, I mean, let's go out fighting, but we're definitely gonna die here. There is some power generation we can pick up here. That'll help. Give me some treads, too, because what the heck. I love them in now. That's the problem. Hold on. Did we not die? We didn't die. How did we not die? How are we living right now? Okay. Somehow we made out with a small laser and an assault rifle. How the hell did that happen? Um. We need treads, apparently, because that's what I'm using. Although, there are a lot of legs around. I can grab three legs. You, you... Okay, let me use the legs. Drop the treads. Grab a leg. Um, we're alive. Let's just go with it. Grab a spare leg. Because you never have to have a spare leg. Uh, grab another engine, because you never have enough engines. Grab a weapon. All small lasers, which of course they are. We're somehow alive. We need to leave. We call reinforcements if you can. Shit. Okay, well, I said if you can, we can't. There's your exit, though. Okay, well, fortunately, we got out before the admin raised the alert level, so bonus, but also maybe problem. I need to replace my weapons. I suppose replace the small laser, but I need a I need a replacement for the heavy assault rifle. What if we got that out? We can just avoid any material entanglements. We'll be just fine. Oh, hey there, troopers. I suppose the alert level is still pretty high, isn't it? We need to just run. Um, and since we're we have legs, running is appropriate. That's a dead end. Excuse me, folks. Am I getting out of my way? Am I getting out of my way, please? You're going too slow. Get out of my way. And good morning. So my girlfriend says every time she sees me play a sandbox game. There is a lot of running in a lot of RPGs. Oh, that was a blade trap that I ran to. That's why I lost a leg. Uh, we're in trouble. Grab another leg, so at least I have two of them to run on. Got a shock rifle. Don't know that's gonna help me. They're all nice to lined up. If only I had a grenade launcher right now. Hey, defenders. Only well, knocked out my weapons. I probably shouldn't be shooting anybody anyway. Oh, we're so tuned. <laughs> the alert level is just too damn high. If I leave the area without destroying anybody, the alert level might go down. I need to survive, and that's the real trick. Oh, we can leave, we can leave, we can leave. I lost the leg, but it was worth it. Leave! Okay. All right. I don't know how the hell we're making it here. We're making it. I really need to get to a terminal, though, so I can see what the alert level is, and I can adjust it. Maybe I can adjust it. I don't have a hacking suite, so I don't know if it's actually going to work, but it's worth a shot. 
God damn it. I mean, yeah, okay, open it up. You know what? Sure, let's go in. What the hell? This is a doomed run anyway. Let's just go explore some stuff. I mean, see, the great thing about a DSF is there's a bunch of stuff in here. It's just it's all heavily guarded and we're boned. But aside from that, it's great. I uh, with the fact that all this is garbage. Um, I mean, we need propulsion is what we need here. Yeah, okay, there's a guardian up there. Uh, cooling filters, grab mag system. Okay, you know what? Let's do grab mag. Let's do it. Let's hover like crazy. Drop the aluminum leg. He is coming for me, though. But if I do enough grab mag, he might not be able to catch me, because I can go pretty fast. Um, that is going to be a little bit energy drained. That's not wrong. Insufficient energy. Oh, am I actually... Is there too much... Okay, we can reduce this a bit. There we go. I'm still pretty fast, though. So I need power generation. I suppose I have the iron engine. Hold up. Iron engine is active. Okay. Okay, now we're fast times two. We're good. Okay, the trouble is he's guarding the exit. And also the fact that a ripple link energy engulfed my area. Okay, stasis field depleted. Authorization ship over there. It's clearly in line of sight, though. How are we going to get past this dude? We're definitely going to need a heat sink, because all I have is energy weapons right now. Oh, are you kidding me? The freaking stasis field activated again. That's just rude. Well, he's going to see me. What if I back up, like, all the way over here? Yeah, he saw me. All right. But maybe I can encourage him to go that way. Um, armor plating. That sounds good. Let's go get some armor plating. Oh, except he's going to go for me. Oh, it's freaking stasis shields. Okay, but I think he's coming for me here? Does he not know I'm here? He might not know I'm here. Grab that. That's a storage unit, but sure, why not? So we can carry more stuff now. Um, okay. He's just going to stay there, isn't he? We're fast times two. We should be able to... We should be... Oh, no, that's that's too much energy. I need another iron engine. Uh, there might be another one up north. There it is. That's actually an exit. We can totally get out. I'm going to take it. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Give me more propulsion. Because I was in propulsion. And I might need more power. If we're going to use grab bag, I might need a shit ton more power. At least a second one. We're going pretty speedy, though. Something. Sure, why not? Give me an energy gun. Let's do it. Oh, the, sc the scanalyzer. Don't go by with that. Identify this thing. Okay, what do we got? It's your component. Energy gun. Shock rifle. Got it. Okay. Cool. Probably not an exit up here. Seems unlikely. I'm trying to look for like an alternate way, because going down the main corridor is a way maybe to get to the exit, but it's also a way to be spotted. Please let me see the alert level. Alert level. Is yes, security level two, that is bad. Let me try purging the threat. Come on, we can do it. Oh, we're detected. Um, if they did 27% the first time, they might not be able to get me next time. I'm going to try it. Yeah. Okay, we lowered the level. That's great. Ah, uh, we need to get out of here. Probably south. Nope. Um, I mean, maybe where the scanalyzer is and go out the eastern door? Or it could be north. Try north. I'm apparently too fast. Oh, there's a fission core here, though. That's great news. Thank you. We could use that. Now we can turn on the other grab mag system. Get that one on. And we're still able to move. Huzzah! The informer didn't see me. I'm too, I'm too speedy for that. Let's go through the secret door. Okay, so 
so that loops around. There's no other way out. I think we have to go past this guy. And he sees me. But he's just an informer, so it's not too bad. Uh, terrain scanner, I guess, we can pick up? Sure. Let's like grab the other shock rifle. What could possibly go wrong? So I'm going south. Another terminal. That's probably a DSF. Yeah, we already did one DSF somehow without dying. Let's not. Let's not. Uh, shoot. Let's not shoot. That's probably a good idea too. Let's not shoot. Let's also not tempt fate. Control is being fast, as I need to wait for these guys to pass me before I can do anything. Oh, hello there, Slayer. Uh, don't mind me. Just, uh, just, uh, you know, wandering about. I'm gonna have to go past this guy's detection range. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, hello there, Shepard. Um, well, I'm pretty fast. I might be able to just zoom past this guy. I bet we can do it. Hopefully he's a bad shot, especially with me going this fast. Zoom! Remember, serpentine motion. Serpentine motion. Okay, there's a soldier over that way, so we're going this way. Same idea. Serpentine motion. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that actually worked. Uh, I'll take a prototype out of unit, but I think these guys are going to know where I am. Yeah, that, that's bad news. Bad news, bears. Oh, come on. Get me out of here. Matter filter is not going to help me right now. The improved cooling system could, but I suppose I can do it. Got shock rifles and nothing else, so I suppose we can try it. Uh, you guys saw me? You probably know where I am, right? How would be the the exit's got to be the east? There's no other question. What the terrain scan presser do? According to the to this, increases scanning density by 100 percent or 100. So. I don't actually know. I suspect this helps find traps, but what it really does is it lets you know where doors are um, whenever you scan, which is not tremendously useful, but it can be a little helpful. Um, it's supposed to, I believe, let you know where stuff is, but it requires data from a terrain scanner. You're absolutely right. So I don't actually have a terrain scanner, so that's probably why it's just sitting there doing nothing. I probably shouldn't have it turned on. Well, shit, they know where I am. I'm sitting here too long, gotta move. Yep, so it does nothing about a train scanner. Unfortunately, I didn't notice that on the inscription. Okay, going towards this guy is questionable, but I don't think we ever really have much choice. Gotta just trust in our speed and go. Hey there, guys. Trust in your speed. Just keep on moving. Use the guys here as ablative armor. And just go. Treads are not going to help us. We've got plenty of speed here. Also got a prototype hover unit we can use. And we just keep on moving. Hello there, Administrator. You're going to block down that terminal, aren't you? And raise the alert level, no doubt. No doubt. That's not the way out. That's another tech. See, we're gonna be able to lower the alert level? That's something we can do? Purge threat, please. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna try one more time, but it might not be a good. No, 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 zoom out might be better. Okay, we got some data. Ooh, and there's an exit there. Oh, behind three freaking doors? How is that helpful? Uh, maybe we can hack, but it's gonna be a thing. Uh, we can try it. Let's try going over there, see what happens. There's a soldier over there. I don't know if he saw me. Oh, he sees me now. Hey, dude. Uh, there's no door. Oh, no, here we go. There's a door here. Excuse me. You need to leave now, please. Targeting computer, nuclear core? Yes, please. Bomb trap, though. Stay away from that. Oh, son of a... Well, I stayed away from one bomb trap, but unfortunately setting off one did set off the others. So now I'm not nearly as fast. We're okay. We're all right. Let's go to the terminal. We're a little corrupted, but we're otherwise all right. Oh, hey there, fighters. 
Don't mind me just trying to go through the doors here. Okay. Last door's open. They're actually letting me through. Leave. I can't believe that. Oh, except it didn't actually take me anywhere. It's still negative six. That's unfortunate. Um. Okay. I don't know what any of this is. I'm in a new area. I've never been here before. I have no idea what this is. Hoping everyone's innocuous, but it doesn't look like they're. Oh, hello there, biases. Let's have lasers. Slowly we're our way through here, but they are destroying our grab bags. Um, yeah, pick up the auto gun, because why not? I need power generation, which I do not... Oh, there's one past the door. There we go. Okay, that's something. Yeah, I'm someplace I thought that they, they thought needed to be sealed off with three freaking blast doors, so that's not exactly encouraging. Oh, those are VTOL modules, so not grab mag. They can only carry a little bit of weight. I'm already overweight. Oh, well, I don't want anything corrupted, so that's not really going to work for me. I guess the beam caster is something. Oh, hello. Um, that dude, there you go. Okay, blew something up. That's not necessarily good. It's cool, but we are very corrupted and in a way. Triangulator, what does that do? Reason is likely distance at which each visible hostile can spot you. Enables predictions of visible robot travel paths and analyzes ambient signals to determine how many hostiles are currently tracking you, as well as pinpoint them if in range 24. That sounds fantastic. I'll take that every day of the week. Plasma cannon, sounds cool. Probably better than a small laser, that's for damn sure. Okay, terminal. What do we got the terminal? Door terminal, again. Yeah. Alright, open it up. Ooh, okay. We're gonna get detected if we do that. That's too bad. There's probably something cool back there. Uh, hey there, soldier. You got a phasing saber. That sounds awesome. Okay, hold on. I want the phasing saber, because the uh, melee weapon sounds great right now. Especially if you guys get into melee range, like, like right now. Okay, the other guy's gonna try to flank me here. So we're gonna go around. Grab the phasing saber really fast. If we can. Yes. Get phased, son. Oh. I didn't bop into you. That makes a lightsaber sound. That's awesome. Okay, it's actually a terrible weapon. It's actually horrible. What it does is very similar to the chainsword, it looks like, where it cuts away pieces. So, interesting. Also hilarious. Maybe not all that useful. Oh, I have no movement whatsoever right now. Um, Alright, grab the legs. I mean, the lightsaber sound alone might be making it worth it, but that's hilarious. Okay, well, what else we got here? We've got more phasing sabers. Which is fine, but I don't really care. Um, get rid of the terrain processor. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, it's fine. And get the advanced heat sink. I mean, it might actually be terrible. Uh, hey, Guardian. Let me go ahead and... Okay, so you say... Oh, it's tracking one. Okay, cool. I thought it meant jam there, but no, it's totally tracking. Okay, I misfired. That's unfortunate. I mean, you gotta admit, the, the lightsaber sounds pretty cool. I don't even know hate sink. I don't know why I picked that up. Yeah, I got rid of both those. So the beam caster instead. Uh, insufficient energy. Oh, wow. Yes. I don't have any energy right now. I need energy generation. Uh, it's because I thought both of those were energy generation. I'm gonna pick those up. I need some kind of energy generation. Uh, I need to shut off you and probably you. Yeah, there we go. I think it's a few more energy. 
All right, switch over to the beam caster, but I'm definitely gonna need I need some kind of energy generation somewhere. Hopefully, we open this door. Hey, nice. Uh, GC Mutiny, is that what your name is? Oh no, you're a gorilla. Hey, dude. Free at last. Oh, it's a freaking prison. Okay. So we're freeing the rebels. That could be actually awful. I only worry because the rebels will shoot at anything and everything and thus raise the alert level. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Great Axe could be cool. Let's try the Great Axe. Still no power generation whatsoever. Though the battery might help. Uh, yeah, I still need power, though. There's probably power on here somewhere. That's not it. There's a leg in there, though. So, yeah, the Rebel's gonna go in there and fight. Or stand in the door and fight, I suppose. So he's gonna die horribly. Enjoy your death, but thanks for the power. At least drop power for me. Nice. Smack you with a great axe. You're gonna come around the other side. Hello. Okay, did you drop any more power? Treads galore, but no power. Maybe I switch over to treads. Does seem to be the most prevalent here. There is another leg up here. Which I guess maybe is better. Only one fission core, though. I need more power generation. And this just isn't going to do it. Alright, let's keep moving on. If you guys want to sacrifice themselves to, you know, so I don't want to fight, that'd be great. I guess I could open this door to the same thing. Probably a gorilla behind here, too. Here we go. Free at last, he'll say. Yep, there he is. You know, I actually felt safe in there. No one shooting at me, no one firing rocks in my general direction, and no assembled. Yeah, well, tough. Oh, look, there's a beast over there. Why don't you go fight the beast? That'll be fun. At least I'm not getting hit. Okay, wow, he just got totally wrecked. And very likely the same thing will happen to me. Is there a good way to get past the beast here? I've got no armor whatsoever. Do I have any alternate paths? Yeah, all the way back to the beginning. Um, yeah. In fact, we can go grab some legs over here, too, which might not be a bad idea. Let's go backwards. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Yes, the problem is, of course, there's a straightaway, in which case the beast can totally shoot at me. But aside from that, it's a grand plan. Now, I know, we need to melee him to the target, but he's in my way. So, you know, kind of, kind of blame him. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, I know, but he's in my way again. Like, if this guy's would just move... Hold on. Grab that. We totally need some extra power generation, so actually, mailing a neutral unit, not necessarily a horrible thing every time. Yeah, heat sinks. Okay, you just need to get out of my way. Just just move, thank you. For not to destroy you if I don't have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm corrupted all to hell, but that's the way things go sometimes. Okay, grab the extra leg. Okay, that's at least something. But is that another... Oh, it's a corrupted drive. I mean, I'm tempted, but I probably shouldn't do it. I'm corrupted enough already. Even 2% is a little bit too much. Okay, the extra weapon I probably don't need, but at least now we can go this way. And hopefully there's actually a way to go here. It might all lead to the beast. Well, that's a straightaway, at least. 2% is corrupted all the hell? You know, you wouldn't think so, but yes, actually. 2% is actually very corrupted. Um, because it happens... Oh, shit. That's nice. Um, the corruption... Uh, it's a percentage of how many turns... Or when... When you take your turn. The corruption is a percentage of how likely you are to get a corrupted effect. Now, 2% doesn't sound like a lot, 
And I don't know if there's a bug in the code or something, but 2% seems to happen a lot more than it probably should. 2% actually feels like 20%. Because we get, like, matter fusing and various other minor effects. What are we going to do with this? Well, we can't take this guy in melee. Like, that, that would be absurd. There's no chance. So I need to probably go with the plasma cannon and a heavy beam caster. I don't know if we can actually defeat this guy, but it's worth a shot. So to speak. Of course, he's also shooting the same weapon at me. Yeah, that was a plasma cannon blast right there. And he can totally take me in a fight, it looks like. We could try running past him. It's worth a shot. Let's try running. Fighting him's not going to work, but we might be able to run. Destroyed our weapons. That's okay. Ooh, though he has friends. Okay. I wasn't expecting friends. On the upside, he might be able to destroy his friends. I'm not moving fast enough, I don't think. Oh, okay, you know what? Luring him to the other end of the main hall? Maybe that was a good idea. Not currently possible, though, because I'm dead. <laughs> well, I've never been to the prison before. The prison level's kind of cool. Um, I think what you have to do is kill all the minor guys first. All the not beasts, basically. You have to avoid that center area if you want to do this at all, which is probably not a good idea because it'll definitely raise your lower level. But destroy all the main, all the all the mooks, then release all the prisoners, and then they can join you in the fight against the beast, and then maybe you have a shot. But two beasts as guardians, not to mention all the other guardian bots, makes that a very difficult fight. So I don't know. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be doable. At least not at the current level, or low level, which definitely wasn't it. All right. Well, that'll do for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Cogmind on PC Universe here, PC Universe here, and I'll see you guys next time.